Aubrey, how are you, sir? Great, man. How are you? All right, you? man. Welcome to Cruising the Coast, buddy. It's awesome. Man, I can't help but notice the particular colors on your ride speaks car club to me. I mean, I bet you, you got a lot of buddies with the same type of swag maybe on, on their vehicles, right? Yeah, we try to be different, man. Yeah. Try to try to stand out in the crowd. Different is cool. That's it. I'm digging the wheels on this thing, man. That just goes with the whole theme of the car. Yeah, that's some uh, some 20 by eight and a half and 20 by 10 uh, smoothies. Yeah, okay. Um, just kind of murdered out, dechromed. Murdered out. Love murdered those out. phrases, man. Uh, <laughs> that's, a, that's a that's a club phrase, right? Yeah. Let's murder them out. <laughs> man, that's pretty cool. It's sitting low. You got the black and green military <clears throat> colors, maybe. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The name of the car is Apocalypse 61. All right. Uh, when we did it, we just wanted that that dark and nasty theme. Yeah. You know. Okay. Well, you know, I've, I've seen a lot of Impalas done a lot of different ways. And when I saw this one, I thought, man, I got to ask questions, man. Because you're on the strip last night, cruising around, having a blast in this thing, slung low, everything's tended out. Even the headlights are tended out. Yeah, it's, that's actually some uh, some Harley Daymaker headlights. It's all yeah. LED projector lights. Okay. Uh, turn signals are in the headlights. All right. So that's some type of lens you can put over your headlight to project it, or is that the no, bulb itself? No, it, it's an actual headlight. Okay not familiar that's that's different yeah, it's pretty different yeah so does that give you a uh, a stronger beam or is it wider or what yeah it's a little bit brighter okay. um these cars you know those old t3 yeah, and yeah. t3 bulbs <laughs> yeah. were just suck you oh know? yeah so of course. this this is more modern day yep I love the pinstripe on your hood dude who did your artwork yeah uh my buddy cousin jack jack miller a okay. uh, very very talented artist he travels the country uh, he's up in the northeast right now mm -hmm. Um, since it's so hot out here, he likes that cool weather. Yes, it, it is always so hot down here, man. Yes, it is. But hey, they ain't gonna stop Hot Rod Madness from uh, sharing with the folks. That's it, you gotta do what you gotta do. You gotta do what you gotta do. Man, uh, throw yourself a plug, man. What's the name of the club and all? Uh, the name of the club is Mordor Mafia. Mm -hmm. uh, it was started by a couple friends of mine and uh, basically the four doors were always shunned. You know, four doors weren't cool. They weren't hot rods, and yeah. we're here to change the game on that. Okay. You know? Well, so. you know, four doors are cool. That's it. Yeah. Give they, us a uh, like on Facebook, uh, Mordor sure. Mafia on Facebook. Okay. Uh, we welcome all Mordors. You right. know, the more the merrier. And uh, we'll definitely give them some love. Aubrey, man, I'm, I'm looking under the hood of this thing, and I'm going, wow, twin turbos and an Impala. You stuffed all that under the hood? Yeah. Let's check it out, man. There's, there's some pretty cool artwork going on here, buddy. Yeah, once again, uh, you know, you have pinstriping and metal art by Cousin Jack, Jack Miller. Mm -hmm. uh, all the bead rolled panels uh, are Damien Cole of Hot Rod Joe's in Lafayette, Louisiana. Uh, Damien also did a lot of the fabrication work on all the turbo piping and the custom headers, uh, down pipe. Uh, Joe Brown of Hot Rod Joe's definitely helped me out on, on every aspect of this car. Um, the paintwork was actually by uh, Jeff Simpson of J Rods, mm -hmm. and uh, Brian Brooks was a the previous owner of the car, and he was a, a great help and got a good head start on this car for me. Wow, you get a lot going on under the hood here, dude. That is awesome. Thank you. Man, um, and it all blends in and matches the paint scheme just perfectly, dude. You got yeah. you got your turbos covered and and smothered. You got the what type of air cleaner would you call that? Um, I just call it a, a carburetor hat. Um, we were gonna do <laughs> okay. just something weird, maybe with yeah. uh, with a fender or something, but we didn't really have enough clearance on the hood. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, the engine is a uh, it's a ZZ4 small block Chevy. Okay. Um, Eddie Motorsports front runner system, twin 50 millimeter turbos. It's uh, it's nasty. It Golly, moves. man! Not yeah. a, not only can you show it, you can go it. That's it, dude. Man, there's plenty it. of power. He's videoing right there, buddy. Oh. There you go. It looks like a hot ride jewel car. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cut. Yes, sir. I know <laughs> cut. All right, now, okay. Let's see All if right. we can pick up somewhere else. <laughs> it's all good. It man. is, it it's is. All good. Oh, it happens all the time, man. All right, here we go. <laughs> all right, dude, dude, you're sporting Wheelwood brake system here. I, I'd imagine you got the huge disc on this thing along with the uh, boosted brakes and all. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, you know, Willwood Master Cylinder. Mm -hmm. We just have some simple disc brakes. Uh, 
you know, I'm on a tight budget. This, I'm, I'm not a high roller. Man, so, aren't we all? Yeah, you know, so this is, this is a, a whole conglomeration of a lot of friends helping out and getting together and That's cool. trading off and stuff like that. <laughs> Aubrey, man, it looks like you got some really cool friends, man, because, yeah. I mean, if, if they came up with the... You're, you're talking about a tight budget, but, you know, turbos ain't cheap, you know. Right. You, the stuff under the hood ain't cheap. Dude, you did that on a budget, man. Mm -hmm. yes. We congratulate you, sir. Evidently, you have hot rod madness. That's it. That's awesome, man.